Good morning and welcome back to the shop here at New Traditions. It's October 16th. It was 30 degrees this morning. Uh, lots of frost in the area. Had to scrape our, our, wind, our windshields on my wife's car. Um, the chickens are great. The chicks are great. The goats are doing good. Uh, the garden has been put to bed, so that's okay. Uh, but it was cold for sure, and it's going to be even colder. So we're getting ready for it here in rural Indiana. Um, yeah, I wanted to do a little bit of an update on dulcimer number 862. This is a teardrop made of uh, Port Orford cedar top and myrtle wood back and sides. And here's where we're at right now. This is the back. Beautiful book matched back on it. Here's the headstock. It's taken shape. And just a quickie down the inside. Really nice piece of wood. Now this one, <coughs> excuse me, this one I believe is sold. Um, I got request to purchase this one uh, this morning via email from a lady named Mary. So um, this one is probably off the market right now. It's going to have a K and K pickup installed on it as well. It's 25 inch VSL. Um, it's going to be a, a great sounding instrument. I really like working with this wood. I mean, it's just beautiful. So I'll go ahead and, and trim up the back here and put the bracing in. I use a, a special, uh, special. It's it's the bracing that I've used forever, so it's kind of uh, traditionally a new traditions bracing. Uh, I always radius my backs, which gives it a little bit more strength, and I believe it increases the volume. So the back will be radius uh, once the bracing is put in. And then we'll go from there. I'll be back and let you see what we do with that. All right, so I got the back trimmed. Even with a flush with the sides. I tried to set up a, uh, a way that you could watch me do that. Unfortunately, we just don't have the means here at New Traditions to uh, do all the fancy camera shots. But what I use is this Dremel on this Stu McDonald um, Dremel base or router base with a really nice flush, flush mount router bit right there. It's a great little system. It takes a steady hand and you need to know about your grain direction when you're routing uh, grains like this, but it's really quite simple once you uh, once you have ruined two or three <laughs> instruments in your life. That's it, that's the back. Oregon Myrtle, Master Grade Oregon Myrtle. And the sides. Nice wood. And the end jack for the pickup will go right here. And then the tuning head. Next step is the uh, bracing on the back. I will get the brace cut, get the brace radiused and all set up and then I'll put it in. And then it'll be time to go out and do some farm duties. We're going to do a lot of uh, leaf accumulation today. We're going to add to our compost pile here on the New Traditions Homestead. I just, I love this myrtle wood. I mean, it is amazing. And when you drive through the area of Southern Oregon, going down to the coast, down to the south, south coast of Oregon State, these trees are, are everywhere. You can't log them. I don't believe you can log them anymore. That's why this is all reclaimed. And it just smells so wonderful. The forests are, are amazing. It's a beautiful tree and a beautiful wood. Again, this is reclaimed wood. Potentially, uh, it's at least several, several, several decades old and potentially over a hundred years old. Uh, our buddy will find these logs buried um, in old logging stands from the old days. Now, I've, I've got to stop looking at this. I love this wood. Anyways, that's it. I'll, I'll make the brace. I'll get the brace glued in. And while that glue is drying, I'll be going out uh, 
to do some homestead work. Get our, our mulch piles um, ready to go for next spring for the garden. All right. Well, I'm just about ready now to put the uh, back brace onto the back. This is a piece of spruce that will be the back brace and it's radiused at 25 feet. It's got a 25 foot radius on it. And the way I do my radiuses is like most luthiers do. We have these uh, radius dishes. Uh, they are cut out, of, this is a 25 foot radius for all of my braces and also for my guitar backs and my ukulele uh, backs. And I use a 12 foot radius for my guitar tops and my ukulele tops. Oh, it's heavy. Sorry, I, I don't have the ability to show you the process of, of me sanding this radius. Uh, perhaps at a later date we'll have that. I really want to encourage you, uh, if you like these types of videos, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That will help us out. It'll give us a, a, a means of getting a better equipment in the shop where we can do overhead shots and stuff like that. And it will just help us out in general as well here on the homestead. So if you're enjoying the videos that we put out, be sure to give them a thumbs up on YouTube. Share them with, with your friends. Let, let folks see them and so perhaps they'll like them and also want to subscribe. And then hit that subscribe button. I believe it's right up here um, at the end of this video. It'll help us out way beyond what you can ever imagine. We're striving for right now, we're looking for a thousand sub subscribers. We're only at 180 or 190 or something like that. So we've got a long ways to go. So any of your help, we would really appreciate. It would be a blessing to us. Um, yeah, so give us some thoughts. Hit the subscribe button, it costs you nothing. It, uh, you won't be plagued by emails, you won't get anything. If you, do the, if you hit the notification bell, you will get a, an update every time that we give another video. Uh, but other than that, there will be no hassle, no, uh, no cost, no nothing. It just helps us out uh, with our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it here at the uh, New Traditions Homestead and New Traditions Dulcimers and Woodcrafts and Ukuleles and Guitars and all sorts of stuff. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we got the brace in and it's really not much of a rocket science. It's just putting that radius brace, uh, gluing it to the back. A lot of good tension across the back and uh, making sure that nothing cracks or happens or anything like that. This is number 862. New Traditions teardrop 25 inch VSL teardrop dulcimer. Uh, this is um, Oregon Myrtle wood for the back and sides and the headstock. Port Orford cedar top. It'll have a wenge fingerboard overlay over a hard rock maple fingerboard. And I believe this one is sold. I believe this one is going to marry uh, down in Florida here in a couple of weeks. It will also have a K&K &K pickup installed in it. Um, should be a, a good sounding instrument. So anyway, it's time to go outside and do some homestead chores. Got to get some leaves picked up with this fall weather. It's October 16th. This morning it was 30 degrees. Um, lots of leaves have come down, so we need to get them picked up and put into the compost pile so we can have great vegetables uh, in the spring and summer of next year. It seems weird to be dreaming about our 2021 garden already, but uh, that's what you do when you're homesteading, right? All right, you all have a great, great weekend. Uh, we'll see you probably, the next video will be either a homestead video or we'll be putting the fingerboard on the top or something like that. Remember, we'd sure appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Um, just click the, I think it's over here, the subscribe button. Uh, give a thumbs up on YouTube for our, our videos. Like them, share them with your friends. Guys, we really appreciate your help in uh, helping us to hit a minimum of a thousand subscribers. We're at 180, 190 right now. So we've got a long ways to go. We would really appreciate your help in getting us to that thousand point. Um, when that happens, YouTube uh, sells advertisement. And when that happens, 
our videos are monetized, so we get a couple cents each time the video plays. Which, believe me, in this age of retirement, homesteading in the age of retirement, every penny helps. So we would really appreciate that. Uh, all the, the proceeds from our YouTube will go back into the production of content. Um, so please subscribe to the channel. Help us out. Please help us out uh, with this goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. Um, that's it. Have a great weekend. Remember to subscribe, like, thumbs up, share this video. And we will see you uh, the next time. Lord bless you guys.